Um, hello, my name's Gary and um, I've decided to do an autobiography of my life. It all started when I was quite young, as you can imagine. And I'm going to show you uh, some pictures to help along with the story. We've moved inside now because um, the time of year it's a bit too cold now and um, this room's uh, much more uh, comfortable. The first one is my mum and dad's wedding. On the right hand side are my mum's parents. Her younger sister was bridesmaid. On the left is my dad's brother and sister, her head is just visible. The flower girl was my mum's niece. I don't really know a lot about the best man. And that is all I can say about that picture. This one's a bit blurry, um, but it's uh, very important to me. It was taken in the back garden when we lived at Hafton Road, as you can see. I'm the one standing on the right um, with my godmother's baby Annette, with my mum in the middle. Here's another one um, taken a bit later. There's just the two of us. Annette was more like a sister than a cousin, six days a week before school my dad would take me to her house and uh, her mum would walk us to school. We um, practically grew up as siblings and here I am in the middle of a crowd on the occasion of my aunt's wedding. It all happened on Christmas day 19. 46 when I'd reached the grand age of three and a quarter. On the right you can see my mum who was maid of honour and my uh, youngest uncle is just at the back there. Just to the left in front of the groom you can see Pat who featured as a bridesmaid in my mum and dad's wedding picture. Those were the days when black and white pictures were enhanced after uh, they were developed. As you can see by the colour of the flowers. And here's an interesting picture. On the left you can see my mum and aunt. And on the extreme right is my uh, older aunt. But I don't know who the lady in the middle is. I must have been about eight when this one was taken. And here is a picture of my mum with her, her pride and joy. Me. She used to go out very early in the morning and return quite early to pick me up from my aunt. My dad worked uh, as a part of the um, bomb disposal team at, at um, uh, Sydenham and when uh, in had enough of that job in 1954 he um, became a porter at the hospital. Annette and my parents had finally got to the stage when we could afford a holiday and we all went together just for one year. We had a great time as the picture shows. 
here I am in the back garden and the picture was taken on a lazy summer afternoon. The car was a battered old thing but I spent many hours imagining journeys that we went on. As you can see there were quite a few lazy sunny days. I had a really happy childhood though I was uh, evacuated um, because um, the um, when I was young because of the, the V1 bombs. Annette got married before me right in the same church as my mum and dad. This is Angela and I when we got married. Our reception and the cutting of the cake. We were lucky to get all the catering done by my sister-in-law. My dad suggested that um, I phone his younger brother. But when I phoned, he did not even know about the wedding. But he did get to the uh, reception. Ours was a two-year courtship and we met as a result of a, a blind date. I was uh, set up by some of my colleagues at work and it was um, a real case of love at first sight. I'm finished now in this lovely conservatory and um, it's getting a bit cold so I'm off. Cheerio!